All right, we're joined this morning by Tom Trimble from Encore. We are recording this uh, just a little after 1130, Tom, here on Tuesday morning, uh, talking about the impacts when it comes to power in East Texas uh, following what was Tropical Storm Barrel as it pushed through our area. What's the update this morning on outages across the area and what you guys are doing to, to get the power back on? So the, the, the most heavily impacted areas right now in the East Texas uh, for, for Encore is the Lovekin Nacogdoches area. They're still looking at about 16,500 customers out down in that area, about 10 to 11,000 in Lufkin and about uh, about five to 6,000 right there in, uh, in Nacogdoches. Uh, so they, they got hit the worst, uh, as you know, and, and I, I think I heard Mark say it on, on the, on the uh, weather station that, you know, they were on that dirty side of the, the hurricane. Uh, you know, Tyler happened to be on the good clean side. And so we, we, Actually, in Tyler, we weren't hit near as uh, near as tough. Uh, the wall, I wall, seemed to go right over Palestine, and so uh, we we did have some high winds down there, a lot of damage in in, in Crockett in the Palestine area, uh, and and then up into Jacksonville and Alto. Uh, that that area got hit pretty good. So uh, those areas, uh, I think Palestine and Jacksonville together have about three thousand customers out right now. And then the general Tyler area has about 2,500 customers out. So we've made really great progress from our, our peak uh, um, after the storm went through. Uh, we were sitting around 44, 45,000 customers out in East Texas. Uh, we've knocked it down to about 20,000 right now. And I imagine it's been helpful to you guys that this really was kind of a one day event, you know, come this morning, the sun shining, uh, the winds have died down, and that gives you guys an opportunity to get out there and start making repairs just as fast as possible. It makes a huge difference uh, when when you can get out there and and you've got people coming in from from out of town to help uh, like we do, whether it's contractors or Encore personnel coming in to help. Uh, having clean skies and and easy visibility, easy to get to places. Uh, you know, we still have some some roads that are flooded, um, and getting to those roads where getting past those areas has been very difficult, especially down Lufkin Knack. Uh, but uh, but we're making our way. We do have some boats that we actually use to uh, to get to some of our our facilities and uh, and and get people out there. But uh, but we're doing everything we can. Um, we're, we, you know, we anticipate to work all day today and, and, and into the night and into tomorrow, and we're just going to work as hard as we can and as safe as we can to get everybody's lights back on. And while we do have, you know, many people here in East Texas without power right now, the day after the storm blew through, we know further to the south, the problems get more extreme. The number of outages uh, grows uh, significantly in terms of resources, um, how do you divvy up those resources? Because I know a lot of uh, crews are going to be uh, further to our south along the coast in the Houston area. Do you guys still have plenty of crews to, to also tend to things here locally? So what we're, what we're doing right now is we're, we are, we're, fully staffed and we are using all the contract resources that we have all the all the crews that we have uh, i think we have uh, over 100 contract crews that are in east texas right now uh, helping us out um, and and they're going to they're going to be here till we get every every one of our encore customers back on uh, and then and then we'll look at mutual assistance uh, to help center point out and some of our southern utilities out after that but uh, but right now, our focus is our customers trying to get them back on as quickly and safely as possible. And one thing we always talk about, Tom, after these events is uh, if you're without power, it's important to report that outage through the resources available from Encore. Uh, don't depend on your neighbors or the people living in your area to report an outage. Uh, you want to do that on your own, right? Absolutely. And I love this question every time we talk because uh, too many times people do rely on, on other people to report the outage. Uh, and, and the other thing I want to remind people is, is if you have reported an outage and you're still out, keep reporting the outage, um, you know, whether it's through the My Encore app or it's texting 66267, uh, texting out to that number or calling 888-313-4747, the, the, the outage number where you, you will get a voice recording and just re going through the process there or going to Encore.com and reporting it online. Uh, keep doing it. Uh, don't don't assume because every once in a while we'll you know we'll, we'll get a big big outage on and there might be a tree or a limb on that line that feeds just your house we get everybody back on we think everybody's back on 
if you don't report it again, or if you don't, if you get that text or that notice on the on the app that says we believe you're back on, and you don't say no, I'm not, I'm still out, then uh, then we might not know you're still out. So please keep reporting your outage. It, it doesn't hurt our feelings for for you to keep calling it in. So uh, we actually would prefer that. All right, very good. Tom Trimble with Encore. Anything we're missing here that you think is important to mention? I, th I think the I always try to try to thank our communities. The Lufkin Nacogdoches communities, the, the the cities down there have been phenomenal. Uh, they understand. They they uh, they saw the the damage that's happening. Um, our hearts go out to the folks down the coast. Uh, that Category One when it came in did did a a lot of damage to the folks. Our hearts go out to them. Our thoughts and prayers are with the uh, with the, uh, the the customers down there, the citizens down there, and our utility brethren, uh, and and we want them to stay safe and and while they're getting everything back on. Uh, but uh, but thank you to the East Texas community for your patience. Uh, we uh, this was a this was a, a pretty good tropical storm that came through, high winds, uh, sixty plus miles an hour down in Lufkinac, uh, fifty plus miles an hour gusts up here in Tyler. So. Uh, thank you all for for the understanding and thank you to the cities and communities that we work in and uh, and what y'all do for us when we're out there. All right, very good. Tom Trimble with Encore. Thanks to you. We appreciate it. Thank you, Blake.